January 2014, question number 8, S1 Statistics 1, IAL paper. A manager records the number of hours of overtime claimed by 40 staff in a month. The histogram in figure 1 represents the results. So you have a histogram here, and in this histogram, there are 40 employees represented. Okay, 40, um, you know, the frequency, the total frequency in this whole histogram is going to be 40. Okay, so the um, question is below. Calculate the number of staff who have claimed less than 10 hours of overtime in the month. Okay, so this is the total number of staff that have claimed overtime. There's 40 altogether. We want to find um, the number that claimed less than 10. So we need to find the area of, this bar, of these three first three bars as a proportion of the whole area of all the bars. Okay, and that fraction of the 40 total number of employees will be the, the number of, of um, people who claimed less than 10 hours of overtime. So we need to work out the area of these three bars first. Okay, so let's, uh, in fact, we need to work out the area of all the bars. So if we look at these, the first bar, you have like four squares across, and you have, like, let's check, take each section at a time. It's like there's five up and four across, that's 20. So there's 20 squares in this section, and you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you have 8 times 20, which is 160. You have 160 squares in the first bar. The second bar is going from 2 to 5. Each one is, so it's got, like, you can see there's 6 squares across. Okay, and we'll take it up to here. That's 6 times 5, that's 30. So each one of these squares is 30. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 30 is 120. So there's 120 um, squares in the second bar. So that gives us an idea of the area of the second bar. The third bar, you got from 5 to 10. Well, there's 20 little squares, and there's 6 units up. 20, 20 squares across. Okay. And you've got 6 units up. Okay, so that's going to be, so that's, uh, sorry, that's five squares across and six units, that's 30. No, no, there's five, there's, that's five, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. Okay, so that's uh, ten squares across and six up, that's 60 altogether, sorry. Ten times six, 60. And the next bar goes all the way from 10 to 20. Okay, there's 20 little squares times two, that's 40. 20 times 2, that's 40 squares there. And here goes from 20 to 30. That's actually, there's 20 squares, 20 little squares, times 1, so that's 20. So we can see that the total number is 160 plus 120 plus 60. That's for the first three. That's the first three here. That's going to give you 280, 340. So there's 340 squares in the first three. That Those are the ones that have to less than 10 hours of overtime and in total we have plus another 60 so if you add another 60 that's 400 in total so we can say that 340 out of 400 of our 40 employees claimed less than 10 hours overtime okay so what will that give us well that, that will give us 34 so there's 34 employees that claimed less than 10 hours of overtime. Okay, all that working that I've shown above, you know, can be done down there. Basically, you're just working out um, the areas of each of these bars in terms of the little squares. Okay, so there's 340 little squares from 10 and below, and there's 400 little squares altogether. Okay, so that basically what we can say is there's 400 squares that represent um, 40, okay, people. All right. 400 squares represent 40 people. Okay, so 400 little squares represent 40 people. So basically, what we can say here is that if we take a 10, or if we take a zero off each of these, okay, if I take a zero off here, and a zero off here and here, that will tell me the frequency for each of these. Okay. So you got 16 people represented in the first bar. Let's get rid of these here. 16 people represented in the first bar. 
Okay, so that's 2 times 8 is 16. So the frequency density here must be 8. So that must be, it seems like it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yep, 6, 7, 8. See the frequency densities, okay? So each of these, the frequencies are now known exactly. 2 times 8 is 16. That's 3 times 4 is 12. That's 5 times 6. No, sorry, that's 5 times 1.2. 5 times 1.2 is 6, that's right, and you've got um, 10 times 0 0.4, which is 4, and you've got 10 times 0 0.2, which is 2, yeah, so all the frequencies are there now as well. Okay, so that's it. that's the end of question part A. Question part B, I'm going to go to in the next video, so I need to have this displayed.